You know what? A wife that submits to her husband is loved. She's loved. Because she puts the husband's needs above her own and she doesn't just go shopping without thinking about anything but herself. And she does things to let the husband know that she values him. And when he comes home from work, she's happy to see him. And when he, or when she comes home from work, she's happy to see him because there's lots of you that work. But you value that person. A husband that loves is submitted to. You know, if you love your wife and you care for her, you meet her needs and you call her and she's very valuable to you and you, you don't let work take over that spot. And you don't look at a bunch of other women so that you're focused on everybody else, but you're just focused on your wife. She, those women submit. They, they put you first because they can trust you. They love you. Look, children that obey their parents have parents that are not exasperated. When you fight us on everything and we're never right, we're always wrong, and you're beating on us all the time, it's exasperating. But kids that listen, that value their parents, they have parents that are not as exasperating. You know, parents that aren't always frustrated and angry have kids that obey them. Because kids can make mistakes and come home and still be loved. And they're not going to get beaten up and yelled at and screamed at. You don't obey somebody like that. Look, if we're going to be good at crucial conversations, we need a reading lesson. Read these verses for you. Not so that you can point a finger to somebody else. Not so that you can nudge somebody and say, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Read these verses for you. And that's, just, that's not just a story for these verses. This is a life lesson. 